I think, you know, we've worked a long time on the Kampala principles and sort of setting the frameworks up for public-private dialogue and public-private action. And uh, I hopefully done right, the Kampala principles will be, be proven in a sense. We can, we can set up metrics that'll help us analyze how they work and, and, and to discover that sort of best practice and make the case for public-private engagement. We need to find out what works and what doesn't in terms of public-private partnerships. Right now, public-private partnerships really focus on co-financing, blended financing, and there's this overall focus on finance. And there are so many other places in which the private sector can bring value to development projects through expertise and other types of con contribution. And I think if we, can if we can design monitoring processes that help us identify different models uh, and different models of success, uh, it'll be extremely helpful uh, in moving forward because the private sector needs to be part of this process. It's going to be an engine of development. Um, and we also need to, to, I think, also look at the enabling environment for business uh, as an important component of monitoring. Uh, and we've, we've been stressing very um, significantly throughout the the Busan principles and the Kampala principles and all of these, these efforts, the importance of getting the enabling environment right for business, so business can grow and contribute to development outcomes. If you're going to be engaging the private sector in, in development outcomes, I, it gets back to the point of what works, what is going to work, where are the strengths that the private sector can bring to a project. Not every project is going to be suitable for public-private partnership. And so I think an effective monitoring process will help governments understand when and where to engage the private sector in development projects. The important thing here is that when you look at a private sector perspective, a boardroom perspective on taking on a development project, you have to understand the risks involved in getting into a project. Uh, and a good monitoring process is going to help the private sector understand the risks they're taking on. Uh, and mitigate those risks uh, and be a more effective partner for government uh, when they move forward. You know, we've been doing a project, for instance, in Colombia, which is working to get the private sector to invest in regions that were former conflict areas. But there's no governance, there's no security. And we've, we've had to work with the private sector on trying to understand how to mitigate risk, how to understand the risk of, of going into regions where, where the government just doesn't, doesn't really have the influence or the power to do things, but the, the expectation is that the private sector is going to be delivering on these things. And so helping companies understand the nature of the risks that they're taking uh, when they're going into development projects is really important if you're going to have, a, I think, a constructive uh, engagement with them.